this is the comfort mode, um, and it's, uh, as you can see, comfortable. Um, there's really not too much to say about you know, the above the X5s, um, well partially because I have one, and so, you know, I kind of have my expectations and, you know, and, and I'm more familiar with, you know, where things are and what technologies are, are installed and whatnot. So, uh, to me, this isn't a, a brand new car. It's, you know, like I said earlier, it is more or less like an update uh, to an existing platform. And, you know, obviously things are, you know, newer, but, you know, there's really no, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Things are where it's supposed to be, and it's, it's, it's not a dramatic change. So, um, and once we get into the subdivision, I'm going to turn on the uh, Eco Plus mode. Um, and it, you know, with comfort mode, you can, you can barely hear um, anything. I mean, you can hear a little bit of engine, but mostly it's actually road noise. Um, it's, it's not not a lot of the engine, not a, a lot of uh, exhaust. That's what it's supposed to be. So now we're going to switch to Eco, uh, Eco Pro um, and we'll see the difference. So far, I have to say, with this engine, it doesn't feel as laggy. Um, I'm actually surprised because I've, I've driven 320i, 320ai, um, X320ai. Uh, 520ai, um, 3, 333i, or X333i, wow, that's a lot of numbers in there, um, and so far, this X5 is the only car that, when in Eco Pro mode, it doesn't feel like it's dragging its feet, um, it's coasting along just fine, and, uh, you know, feel the acceleration. It's actually not that bad. Uh, when I had the 20AI and the 20i, whatever, it's three or five series, um, in Eco Pro mode, it's, it feels like it just doesn't want to go at all. It doesn't want to move. Um, so, you know, when you tap on the gas, it's just not going anywhere. So you kind of have to not floor, but press a little bit harder to, you know, for it to, you know, make itself go. But this is actually not bad. You know, you, you put your feet on the gas pedal and then it goes but not you know it doesn't go fast you know but it doesn't feel like it's you know desperately trying to save energy and save gas um, so I like it I like that part and the other thing I actually noticed that um, from earlier driving um, I've tested you know like I said I've tested the 3 series 5 series and the X3 X1 um, there's a, a common uh, symptoms that I've seen, at least with the 3 and 5 series sedans, is that um, when you're in sport manual mode, uh, when you shift from 1 to 2, um, the one, gear 1 tends to go rut line, um, you know, like like what it would if it, you know, when you're on manual driving mode. Uh, but when you're, uh, when you're shifted to second, it always tends to shift to third uh, when it hits five or six thousand rpm and so that you know shifts earlier than you would expect it um you know with manual sort of manual um shifting that you kind of wanted to stay with um as high as you can so that you know you're, you're the one that's doing most of the shifting but um they don't they seem to you know auto shift from second to third when it hits about five or six thousand rpm um it red lights at seven so now, this one doesn't do that. Uh, this one actually goes to seven rut line and it, it kind of stay there for a while. And if you don't, sh you know, go up to third, then it would shift it for you. But it doesn't sort of prematurely shifting to third uh, when I don't think it should. Um, so, so that's a good thing. Um, and the feel of the shifter um, is a little different um, than my E70. The, it's got a click to it. Um, my E70 
when you shift, it's there's no click. It's just, it's more it feels smoother um, with the you know the, the up and downs. Um, so, but this one seems to have a click built in. Um, other than that, you know, everything seems to feel pretty similar. You know, the the center console is the same. Uh, different stitching. I kind of like mine actually because mine doesn't have the lines here. So you know, I think in the long run, these stitches will probably get worn out, and you might actually have an open seam here. Uh, mine has sort of flat top all the way, and then I think there are actually no stitchings on mine at all. So, kind of like that better. Um, this car has very similar wood trim, almost like mine. Um, it's kind of interesting. The exterior color is black, um, but was uh, was almost white interior, um, kind of like mine as well. Um, wood, like I said, wood panels are pretty much the same. Interior is about the same. Um, and uh, I'll take the camera down, and you know we can take a look at the back and. And I'll show you what I meant by having sort of a lower roof line and make it feel a little bit smaller. Oh, one last thing. Um, they changed the locking mechanism. The, the door locks, I think, not only requires one click. That might be something that could be changed from, um, possibly from the, uh, uh, the, the iDrive, but um, I haven't really looked into it, but it looks like, you know, on mine, it, you got to pull twice, um, sort of a safety lock, but this one opens as just one. Okay, so we're going to take this off. Alright, so as you can see, the roof line here, it's a lot lower. So you got a smaller window here, and it just feels a lot lower roof than the E70. Uh, back bench seats are pretty much the same. Um, although this one has the rear heated seat, which is awesome. I wish I have, have it on mine, but you know, I think my daughter sits in the back most of the time, so she's in car seat, doesn't really feel it. Um, back here. The tunnel cover, it's actually the same. <laughs> um, and this is where, you know, it looks, feels like it's lower because I can put my hands on it and it's, I think mine's about here. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just definitely lower roof line and more slope to it. So, but uh, other than that, it's pretty good. I like these um, these hooks here. These are cool. Um, I wish that I had on mine. These are really good at tying downs and stuff, so you know, I can push to move them around and lift them up or whatever. Uh, it's got a big, tr big space in here, which is cool. Oh, that is nice. That is cool. They have a um, hydraulic lift on this thing, so it can actually stay up on its own. See, and it close. It's got a spring, so you. Can opens up on its own that is cool doesn't have any other tools though this is the only thing that's in here I think mine has like something else there's an open space here um, I don't see anything this there's, there's no jacks or anything so this must have run flat tires oh it's got a cargo net that is cool okay all right so that's it.